Hello, welcome to Pilgrim's Path, the program that gives us a window into the experiences and challenges that modern day pilgrims encountered. As they share with us, we also learn in order to equip ourselves in our onward journey. Last week, we were with our dear mother, Elder Mrs. Constance Glai. And today we have come for her to continue the wonderful story she was sharing with us about her conversion and how God prepared the parents so that she can be accepted as a Seventh-day Adventist and be able to practice her faith. Ma, you are welcome. Thank you. We want to continue our wonderful story. So now since there weren't much of a parental opposition, mm -hmm. how about the workplace? <laughs> um, as I started seeing, somebody came for me uh, and took me to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. My very first Sabbath after baptism. Mm -hmm. This man was Emmanuel Olare. Mm -hmm. Because of that, I became um, this thing. Sabbath school. Uh, Sabbath school secretary. secretary. Mm -hmm. In those days, they had the secretary. Mm -hmm. Sabbath school secretary. And worked at the uh, Sabbath school department. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't only that. Because he told me that uh, I shouldn't worry. I shouldn't panic. Uh, Anything that has to be done, I too will be able to do it because uh, it's God who will do His own thing. He wants just people who are willing. Because of that, I was all over the place. Anything I will be willing to do. But uh, I realized that. Every Sabbath, I had to leave. At that time, uh, the institutions, at the institutions, they went to school on Saturday, mm -hmm. half day, mm -hmm. just like the workers. Yes. Workers went to to work, work uh, from uh, Monday to Friday, mm -hmm. and Saturday was half day. Half day. Mm -hmm. So it was the same with the schools. So every Saturday, I just left the students there and uh, came to church. And uh, I was all over, I wasn't even thinking of them <laughs> when, I, when I came to church. But later, I thought of the whole thing and said I should do things properly. So I went to the, the head of the institution, mm -hmm. the principal, one day, and told him that uh, I go to church not on Sunday, but on Saturday. So I have come to find out if we can do something about my periods, that um, I'm willing to uh, extend my time one hour from Monday to Friday, so the students won't come to school on Saturday. Even though it was just three hours, I was willing to give five hours for the three hours. This man <laughs> looked at me and said, uh, those who go to church on Sunday 
have been accepted and they don't go uh, they don't come to work but if i allow you to go to church on saturday what if the muslims also come should i allow them also to go to their church their mosque on friday, on friday. so i said you know something the muslims they've been with us for years mm -hmm. if they wanted to ask permission for uh, to go to their mosque they would have done it a long time okay. ago i have been going to church on sunday it's only recently i uh, got converted to uh, worshiping on saturday that's why i've come to ask permission i've also offered five hours for three hours I said no you won't be able to do it i said okay so i left him and came to the common room but uh, the staff noticed that uh, I wasn't myself. So they asked and I told them what had happened. He said, no, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry at all. We'll do that for you. Only three hours. Then this one said, I'll take the first few. This one, I'll take the second. This one, I'll take the yeah. Even I had more people to uh, stand in for me. He said, only tell us what to do, and we'll do it for you. So I thanked them. But when I was coming home, I was feeling so heavy. I wasn't happy. I, I wasn't cheerful at all. And uh, I didn't, uh, I thought I should be happy because uh, and I had people, people to, now stand in to stand in for me more, more than even needed. I needed. So I should have been, but no, I wasn't feeling happy. I wasn't feeling myself. I, I didn't know what. So I was thinking, why? Why, 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 what, what should I have done? What have I Then it dawned on me that uh, I've taken the wrong decision. Why should I agree to let them come and stand in for me? The Sabbath was made for mankind. Anybody who is a man kind has to keep the Sabbath. And uh, asking them to stand in for me means I'm rather giving them more work to do on the Sabbath. <laughs> so I shouldn't allow that. I shouldn't allow that. So when that dawned on me, I was happy. The smile came back. But then I started thinking again. Now. If I don't go to work on Saturday, what at all can stand for Billy? That's the name of the principal. What at all can he do to me? Then I answered myself, he will report me to headquarters. I said, fine. If he reports me to headquarters, by all means headquarters will call me. I'll go with my Bible. So that one is settled. Stanford Billy can do whatever he likes. And I'm prepared for him. So I was happy again and came back. The following day I went to work. I thanked the staff and then told them that we know something. I am not going to tell you what to do for me on Saturday. You too should <laughs> go to church on, on, Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday. Because the Sabbath 
was made for mankind and you are also mankind so you too should stop going to church on Sunday you should go to church on Saturday and uh, if I, I am leading I'm only leading you so you two should follow St uh, go to church on Saturday he said so what are you going to do I said uh, I'll just leave the students. I've been leaving them. I'll leave them. <laughs> so that was what I did. I left the students until uh, it was time to go on holiday vacation. Now, we used to have long vacation. That was the time they prepared the uh, timetable and everything for the next uh, period, the, 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 the next session. Mm. So during this long work, there were some uh, officers who used to go and take care of that uh, timetable, master timetable. It was broad. The staff who were more than, I think, 36 or 46 and they have to fix everybody the number who everybody had to get a certain number of periods mm -hmm. and they had to fix all this so they did it and uh, when we resumed work they brought the master timetable there on the notice board <laughs> All the staff members with me ran to the notice board and left only me sitting down there. I didn't go. I was just sat down there. Not knowing, they all went to see about my periods. Mm -hmm. And they were happy. They were dancing, they were jumping up and so on. They said, uh, you haven't been given anything on Saturday. Hallelujah. So it was they who came to tell me. I hadn't been given anything on Saturday. I said, thank God. Thank God you have done it. Amen. I don't have to go to headquarters. I don't have, but I was prepared. I don't have to do anything. You've done it for me. Thank you. Thank you. 